cannot wait. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is, in a way. Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the Frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Three Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. Well, that, and I got a lead on... Okay. Once we land on a key... All right, we're here. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is... After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. He called it the Empty Net. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Galbet. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. If you make a move toward the building, a hostage dies. Security around here. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take your badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw gang tried to rob the place. But they got... They took everyone inside hostage, and now they keep... They're using the intercom to commute. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things. Say what you have to. But whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm... Also, there are lives at stake. Find out what they want. And then... Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? Think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender? Sounds like you don't really give a damn. So tell me, stranger, how do I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe pass. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe. After that, we'll radio back where they are. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting. Then persuade the marshal that it is. So let's just. What do you mean? Damn it! I didn't think. Maybe you're right. It's up to the marshal. 
marshal them. Nah, it's too late. You go tell the marshal to get that. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. All that fear and exhaustion are taken. That puts us in a very... Yeah. You gave those boys a chance, but now... Problem is, if we try to move against them... You'd be willing to do that? I can't deny that you're right. Now, I see two ways we can play this. If you're quick. Right. There's also a back. Most of their attention. This key should unlock. I have complete confidence in the marshal. you can walk away from is a good one. Nice work. I heard the fight. Oh. That's... <laughs> Those people aren't just citizens. As for the Shaw gang... Here. You've you got us out of a tough spot. As a matter of fact, you... If you're interested, head on. The Shaw gang is making fools right. of us all. Now that lives aren't on the looking gal bag, see if we can get those maps. Now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not... Oh, no. Jacob. There we do. We really gotta do this? You're not wrong. I know, it's just... All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? Family business just wasn't something I wanted to do. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. Turns out my luck didn't hold. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. 
The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Give me a sec. <sighs> You're flying in the face of my 30 plus. What is it this time? Well, that's not your decision, is it? You really believe that, don't you? You think I'm not trying to help you? I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'm get... they're in the other room here. All right, let's see if we can find the empty map. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, there, found it. Well, you ain't wrong. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, but the empty nest is a cave right in the middle. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bone. Let's get to that cave.
I knew quite a few smugglers back in the day. <laughs> they know how to party. Smugglers would be wise not to tangle with us. A good empty cave can be fun. Keyword there, empty. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be sure. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Huh. Always good to know. I'm glad you understand the position. I'm trying to be reasonable here. <laughs> Fine. I see you again.
That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cor and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. What was it? Likewise, you know where to find us. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. items on the reminder list. I must admit, I'm surprised. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten some. I want you for a little soiree. I'm planning to remind you that you should cut back. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show that settles it then. It'll be E. Just let me know. To the Volai star system, then. What about the one before that? You. Nah. Smell that? It's... We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relation. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh. I have this all taken care of. 
some investigation into the cellar, what's motivating them. Then, some prelim. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the co- Yes, exact. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be- And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend. But if you're here for something a little more... Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are... For... I like to call it an exquisitely crafted... Here, take a look at the menu. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of New then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, ours... We do strive for... Huh. You work for Stroud? This isn't getting it. There's nothing to talk... I'm afraid we... Excellent. We do hope you're meeting... Come back soon. zone we're fully stocked and ready to sell maybe I did information is that's probably true okay I don't know much but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back sleep crate one That's all tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner then need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Any luck out there? The Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting?
Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation, just in case. Good luck, all of you. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have us. We should split up. The code for it. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one dose. Speaking of which... Yeah. I just saw our cello. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's... Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund is... Our goal is to get him to accept that ship in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as... And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be in vigor. Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security... Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in the fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity take the money all right okay it's all yours hope I never see any of you people ever again we have it this couldn't have gone better well done some high-pressure tactics but we got what we were after time to go home shall we stop right there you're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. Really? Huh. That might change things. Huh. All right. 
But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after. Ace. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with... Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See... Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. No. Well, that's... Thank you. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait. This clearly is the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open... I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say... Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tunnel? There's a series of catwalks ending directly up one floor to the executive level. Well. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You... You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have... Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. 
I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, my security brought you. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. They have an opportunity to stay alive. Oh, no. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're... Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. dead. And I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay... 
I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up. Or another house for Rome. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious. But we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Take a break. Let's chat. I'd like to talk to you about something. You have a chance. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the... Ready to head back out there? The eye can... Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to... We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted.